Hey Greens Prairie kiddos, uh, this week it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to have a video for both of the sessions, one video for session one and then a separate video for session two because the content's a little separate, a little different from each other. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our first one for session one. And this is going to be about the end of the Texas frontier. What we're going to be learning about today is basically in this first one, the thing, the one thing that ended the cattle trails, the open range, basically the old west texas cowboy of the open range and the trail drive is going to end because of one simple invention things went great for about 30 35 years with the cattle drives and with longhorn cow going wherever they wanted getting the water they want they do the roundup they brand them they find their cows they bring them back until an invention it's the invention of the barbed wire fence okay you might sit there and say how does a barbed wire fence change everything for texas well, here's what happened. Before the barbed wire fence, those longhorn cows went wherever they wanted to go. And they were basically the boss of Texas, the longhorn cow were. Wherever they went, they got to go, they got to eat, they got to drink, and you couldn't mess with them. Because if you killed somebody else's cow, that was, like, that was like theft. You could get arrested for that. But ranchers and farmers, a lot of them did not like other people's cows coming into their land. Like if your land had a good, like had a river that ran through it, but all your neighbor's land did not, all their cows came into your land to drink your water. And you know, it may not be a problem here or there, but what if you were a farmer and you had these crops, You maybe you were growing corn, maybe you were growing cotton, maybe you were growing anything, and these cows come through and they trample your field or they start eating the stuff that's growing in your field and you can't do anything about it because the cows could go wherever they wanted to go on the open range. And so these farmers and other ranchers got tired of that. And they tried different types of ways to keep the cattle out of theirs, out of their land. But longhorn cow, like one of the things we talked about, they're really tough. They just, like if you just set up some wood stakes, they could just walk right through it. They could just push through it like no problem. Uh, until the invention by Joseph Glidden, he invented something called the modern barbed wire. And now you guys have probably seen barbed wire fences before. Being out here where we, where we live, we see barbed wire fences plenty of places. But this barbed wire, what it did was it now changed it to where the cows would not push through this type of fence. Those barbs, those little pokies were enough to where it would, the cows wouldn't go through. And it got to where the cows would see that and stay away. And so this barbed wire fence closed the open range. It basically, cows now couldn't go wherever they wanted. If you had good grass, good good water, good things like that, you would fence in your land and keep your cows in your land. And so your cows would be healthy and safe and have everything they needed. But the other people in their land, their ranches, they couldn't come into yours anymore. Or if you had a farm, you were growing crops. And now those cows couldn't just kind of go through and trample down your land or eat your crops, things like that. And the another byproduct of this was these barbed wire fences also blocked the cattle trails, the trail drives. And so they no longer could take their cows on those long paths up north to sell them to the railroads to make lots of money. And so many ranchers seriously hated these barbed wire fences and they would cut them. They would, as they'd come to them, they'd cut these fences and just go right through. And it started lots of little, like little small battles and wars and fights and things. And it became illegal to cut someone's fence. And it became to where if you cut someone's fence and went through their, their property, I, who knew what that person would do to you or your cattle. And so it was a big debate. It was a big uh, problem going on where they had to figure out, okay, are we going to allow these barbed wire fences? Are we not going to allow these barbed wire fences? What's going on with them? Okay. And so... As they go, and, and what you do too, I do want you when you go to the slides, click on this video and it'll tell you a little bit more about the barbed wire and how it uh, ended the open range. But, and here's some pictures of some, what some of those early barbed wire fences kind of looked like, okay? Now, some of these kind of look like our modern stuff today. When I see that, it kind of looks like what we see today, but like, look at that one. That one definitely looks kind of scary. And same with this here with that flat wire with the big spike on it, Okay. But one of the things, that modern barbed wire that we see today, what made it stick, yeah, this definitely probably would work, but it probably was more expensive to make and maybe harder to harder to stretch out. And the barbed wire, the twisted wire with the prongs on it, the way that we see it, that modern barbed wire today that Joseph Glidden invented, made it to where it was cheap and it was easy to fence in your property. And so that's what these, these barbed wire fences did. 
they made it to where people now could keep their either their cattle in or keep other people's cattle out. Okay. Another thing with it, if you had really expensive cows, you didn't want your cows maybe breeding with some, not some inferior cattle. And so you could keep those other, if you had expensive, really pure, a pure strain of cows, you could keep them with just your cows. That's what this barbed wire fence would do. Uh, one thing on the slideshow that I do want you to watch, I want you to click and, and go to this link right here that says Death of the Open Range. It's actually a poem. And what this here is a reading of a poem from a cowboy's perspective, a rancher, about the barbed wire and what a lot of these people felt about it, how it kind of changed their way of life what this barbed wire fence did, okay? And it ends up in the last line is that's why the cowboys call the barbed wire the devil's rope. But I want you to go click on that link and I want you to read this or hear this, listen to this poem being read to you as it tells the story of a, of a cowboy and their hatred of the barbed wire, okay? And your assignment for this, for this uh, session, is you're gonna be writing a letter that basically tells how this barbed wire fence works, what it did, what it, how it was good, what it did for you, what it did did poorly for the ranchers and things like that. And so you're going to write a letter, another letter. And so we got to do that letter format. There's definitely those three things. You have to have the date and you're going to be in the perspective. I want to say it's an 1857 rancher. And so think of the date in 1857. You're going to put your greeting, dear so-and-so, whatever, however that's going to go. And then you're going to write your body. And there's three things you need to have in that letter of the body, in the, in the body of the letter. You need to have to describe that fence, that barbed wire fence, how it was good. And there's two other things there that you look at the instructions that'll tell you how you need to describe what's going on with the barbed wire. Then you need to put a closing with your signature, sincerely, or thank you for your time, and then sign your name. Okay, and that's gonna be your assignment that you're gonna turn in this week. So definitely look through these slides, look at the reading that, that we're gonna be that we give you from Studies Weekly. Watch those little videos. Watch the video here about how the barbed wire ends it. And then read this, follow along with this poem as it's read. Okay. And these are the things that are going to get you through session one. All right. I'll have another slideshow up for session two. You'll use that one to talk to you about the Texas railroads and how they were in Texas.